okay good day in today's video i'm going to show you how to connect your subdomain to point to your server uh, in the last previous video you remember i talked about sonic wall firewall custom port forwarding for remote desktop we we saw how if you look at this video in case you haven't watched it before you will see how you can point your public ip address of your firewall uh, so that you can allow external remote desktop connection using a, a custom port forwarding. So you will have something like this RDP. Uh, in that case, we were using an IP address, but today I'm going to show you how you would use something like this, your domain name, then adding the port number to forward. So in that case, we had something like, let's say your public IP address is something like one, 05.25.88.316 uh, colon a custom port he used was 555 right so we are going to create a subdomain from our domain let's say rdp dot my domain dot com so we are going to create a subdomain that points to this IP address points to this IP address. So after creating that, in that case, we could just simply add the column number, uh, the port number here, 555, and we will be good to go. So let's do that right away. So uh, I'm going to use uh, uh, from my domain name I have here to just create a, a sample one, I'll delete it afterwards. So you look out for, this is your control panel, in case your control panel is different, you can look out for where you have subdomain. So this is subdomains, uh, RDP, uh, it's going to be rdp.acrishlaconcept.com in this case. So after creating, you go back to your C panel then you look for zone editor, editor, DNS zone editor. So this is zone editor. This is a crucial concept. I have other domain here, so I'll manage it. Mm, just the A record we're going to look out for. We had RDP. So, so the only thing you're going to change is these two items here. RDP, that this, so you just edit this, change this IP address to point to the one you had. Let's say, uh, in this case, if our public IP address is this, so you just copy this, change it, save record, edit this, save record. So in that case, if everything is done correctly, so you should have something like this. Concept that come five five five, and you're good to go. Remember to when you are signing in from external, you, you you should remember to point it to the domain name. If your domain name was something like grt or uh, was my local domain name so you have to use this uh, prefix before you add your username dot anything dot com so that's pretty much all of it to creating a custom url that points to your that helps you connect to your remote desktop connection thank you bye for now